I took the 20 highest damage upgrades in the game and added them to one tower to create the strongest, the most ultimate max damage custom tower we have yet to see. We don't care about how many projectiles or attack speed this tower has, it's simply pure raw damage. I doubt it's going to be able to destroy, you know, tons of balloons all at once, but one balloon, it will be able to do massive damage to. So we're going to go through the 20 upgrades that we got for it, and then we're going to put it up against the dummy boss to see just how much damage this guy can do. If you guys want to see more custom upgrade towers, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. So for the base tower, I decided to go with the sniper monkey. It has a very high base damage, plus it has global range. So I felt like this would be absolutely perfect for the base tower. So it starts off. Oh my gosh So so we already have level three on it So the first upgrade is first sniper monkey second is the balloon buster So balloon buster is the good old-fashioned mortar monkey, right? We have the mortar monkey balloon buster So it smashed through two layers of balloons at once So it has a little bit of an aoe to it and allows it to hit multiple balloons with the balloon buster the second upgrade or the third upgrade is large caliber large caliber is your sniper monkey upgrade i decided to go with this because it's seven layers of balloons so literally every single shot is just seven layers the next upgrade look at this oh my gosh it's actually really strong i wasn't expecting it to have a ton of aoe damage but i guess since it has that mortar monkey ability it does give it just a little bit of aoe so it's already doing pretty good he just upgraded and got plasma blast and look he's actually attacking way faster now interesting so i decided to go with plasma blast for his fourth upgrade just because i mean it's plasma blast it's the super monkey upgrade so plasma blast super good plasma vaporizes everything it touches so it just gives him some more damage honestly i don't even need this guy anymore so now it actually is working together quite well with all the mortar. That extra attack speed is quite nice to have. The next upgrade is the Red Hot Rank. I wanted to go with Red Hot Ranks just because it's the Boomerang Monkey. It's not a crazy damage upgrade, but it now pops frozen lead balloons and do more damage to all. All right, I'm going to go ahead and we put our Time Master down. Wait, well, let's put him on first as well. I wonder if he's going to be able to see camo balloons. I don't think so. I didn't. Oh, no. He can't hit black balloons. What? No shot! He is a sniper monkey. He has plasma, so I guess he counts as explosive damage right now. Very interesting. I did not expect for him to count as such. $96, let's get those red hot ranks. So for his level 6, I decided to get Moab Mauler. Moab Mauler. The, the ability, I mean, Moab Mauler is just such a, it's like the highest damage upgrade in the game. Does much more damage to Moab class balloons. We can skip a couple of rounds here. Are they going to make like more money? He can't hit lead balloons. I would hope he can hit lead balloons because of the mortar monkey. So the next is Hydra Rocket Pods. So I decided to go with the good old Dartling Gunner Hydra Rocket Pods because it allows them to pop all balloon types, triggers multiple explosions, and it just kind of, it's just stronger. And plus, it's way cooler too. He's only level six. Remember, he has 14 more upgrades to go, and he's going to be absolutely destroying these guys. Uh-oh, are we going to be okay? I think we're going to be okay here. Yeah, what's the next upgrade? So, Hydra Rocket Pods? All right, I got Hydra. Oh, look! You can literally see when he shoots, a Hydra Rocket Pod actually comes out of, like, the, the balloon itself. That's so neat, actually. And then next upgrade, we decided to go with Deadly Precision. I mean, come on. This I feel like every top path sniper upgrade has to be included in here just because of how crazy powerful it is. I mean, it's deadly precision. It's like extra 20 damage. Look at this guy. Can he one-shot lead balloons now? Oh, yeah. He's literally just one-shotting lead balloons. I mean, you'd hope so. He's got so many upgrades on him already. Deadly precision. I want to... I need to get some more money. Wait. So, uh, can he just one-shot... Oh, look at that. Now he's just easily one-shotting ceramic balloons. All right, we got the Moab coming up. Let's see how quickly he can deal with a Moab. I'm really excited to see this. Is he going to one-shot it? He's only level 7, so he has 13 more upgrades to go. But will... He... Eh, he did a pretty good job, but nothing like crazy, right? Nothing like, shush, this guy's insane. I want to get a banana research facility. Thank you, with valuable bananas, because that's going to help us make way more money. Heavy shells. So, heavy shells is the middle path upgrade for the mortar monkey I decided to get. Heavy shells. So, heavy shells do extra damage to ceramic, lead, all fortified, and all stun balloons. And it can also pop black balloons. 
So I feel like that would kind of come in clutch to be able to have that for us. And I mean, he's doing some pretty decent damage to this. He's got 14,000 pops. Our dart monkey's kind of helping out, but I mean, this guy's mainly doing it all on his own. Oh, is he going to be able to deal with these ceramics? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's doing just fine. He destroys ceramics actually. That's so nice. All right, I'm trying to skip some rounds. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're in trouble. I think we might be in trouble here. I think we're gonna lose. I o I overestimated. I skipped too many waves. He definitely needs, okay, let's upgrade and get the big one. Oh my gosh, that just made him so much stronger. So I just got the big one. The big one is the mortar monkey. This one, devastating explosions. So now he actually has some really strong AOE. I wanted it just because of how powerful the upgrade itself is. But now it just, look, this is round 60. He just one shot round 63 ceramics. All of them at once, gone. We don't need this dart monkey anymore. We can sell him. We literally don't need him anymore. All right, we can just skip rounds. This guy's actually insane how powerful he is now. And he's only level 10. We still have 10 more upgrades to go. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I decided to get cannon ship for level 11. Cannon ship seemed pretty powerful. I mean, it's nothing super duper crazy. Cannon ship just adds a powerful cannon that shoots out powerful bombs. It's just a little bit of extra damage, and I felt like it would do really well. I wanted to add upgrades to this that didn't necessarily increase his attack speed or add projectiles. So I wanted things that just increased his single target damage. That was the main thing. Second, I added sharpshooter. The reason I wanted to add sharpshooter is because of the ability it increases damage and it also gives them the ability to crit now i don't know if that's going to work with this because it's the mortar but that was just kind of the thought that i had upgrade 13 ultra juggernaut i wanted to get ultra juggernaut just because ultra juggernaut gigantic spike balls split twice and then an even more destructive against ceramic and fortified so that's kind of what i wanted to go for and as you can see oh this the juggernaut balls actually pop out now that's so cool that's so good and then i wanted to get master bomber master bomber is just such a strong upgrade anyways but the ability to have like the sticky and the one thing that i thought would be a really good combination is so he puts the sticky bomb on and it stuns the balloons, right? But since he has the heavy shells from one of the other upgrades, he does extra damage to stun balloons. So I thought that would work out very well. A good mixture. And then level 15, primary expertise. I wanted to get this, the mega ballista attack, right? Like it is just so powerful. It just does so much damage, right? It's literally one of the highest base damage of towers in the game. It does so much damage. It's ridiculous. Like, look at this. We're at round 75. Okay, I want to see how well we do against the ZOMG. Are we going to be able to just... Look at them. Look at them go. This guy's a monster. This guy's an absolute monster. I wasn't expecting him to be this powerful. I was expecting him to do a lot of damage, but I wasn't expecting just the AoE damage to just destroy everything. All right, round 80. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, main Moab. I mean, main Moab's pretty straightforward. It just does extra damage to Moab class balloons. Level 17, the biggest one. That's right. The final mortar monkey upgrade. So, I decided to get this one just because it's like, come on. The biggest one is crazy. It pops. It doesn't even say. Wait, wait. Blast deeply through balloons and layers over a huge area. Like, it doesn't even say what it does, but you look at this. Look at how much he's just destroying. Balloons aren't even making it out on round 82. Then level 18, Cripple Moab. Obviously, we want Cripple Moab. Cripple Moab's the final sniper upgrade. It immobilizes balloons, absolutely devastates them. They don't stand a chance. Level 19, Balloon Crush. Top path bomb shooter. Come on, let's there's Balloon shattering explosions do massive damage and can stun Moab class balloons. This thing together, just look at this. I, look how powerful this is. And then for the final upgrade, the highest damage in the game, super mines. I mean, is there anything in the game that does more damage than one super mine? One super mine is, it just absolutely devastates things. So let's see what we got with the super mines. And bada bing, bada boom. Oh my gosh, it literally transforms into like a... Nothing's even coming out of the screen. Okay, let's uh, let's go up against the fortified BAD, round 140. Holy cow. Okay, let's try round 200 then. 
Oh my gosh. We need to put him to the test. Let's put him up against the dummy boss and see how much damage he really does. Single target, max damage. Let's give him a whirl and see just how... He already had 500,000 pops. All right, N uh, never mind. He's at 1 million, 2 million pops. Holy cow. This guy's insane. He's so powerful. That's 4 million pops. He hasn't even gotten around the first bend. He's also gotten a lot more attack speed than I thought he would get. Which I'm completely okay with, because we did just pure damage upgrades. I guess there's so many little intricate details for certain upgrades that Ninja Kiwi doesn't really put in the description. I guess there's just so many things, the description would be like five pages long for every single tower. It's like, oh man. Alright, we're at 15 million. Do you think we can hit 25 million? Come on, 22 million! Come on! 23? 24? 25 million. Did it even? 26, let's go! 26,531,696 damage. This tower is an absolute beast, everybody. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, use code 2D in the shop.